Hello and welcome to Vitamin G Reviews. Today we're going to be doing a watch review and this will be a review of the most expensive watch certainly that I've ever reviewed and actually that I've ever even owned. Uh, and if you are a watch person you'll be familiar with Young Hands as a company. It's a German company and it's one of the more premium watch brand companies, more the well-known ones. I typically do more of the Amazon, you know, e-commerce type of brands and I do less of the, um, you know, centuries old, you know, uh, and I do less of the centuries old premium brands. Uh, but this is one that I, I saw a picture of, I really liked it. I thought this would be a really cool review. And it's kind of an attainable watch uh, for, for people who, uh, who are interested in it. And it's kind of an attainable, and it's kind of an attainable watch for, and it's kind of an attainable watch for even just the average professional. You don't have to, you know, really be a, a very wealthy person to, to afford a, this, this Young Hands Chrono. Uh, so before I forget, because I'll, if I don't mention it right away, I, I will forget. Um, just something with the packaging. You'll see this, some of the stitching coming off. I suspect I am not the first owner of this watch. I bought this on Amazon. I you know buy essentially everything I review. I buy off of Amazon, uh, and this is actually my second Young Hands watch that I that I bought off of Amazon. I got a Max Bill, not the Max Bill Chronoscope, which we'll be talking about in a minute. Um, but just the regular max bill, uh, and I ended up returning it because it didn't really fit my wrist. Uh, I didn't review first. It also had a crack in the glass. Uh, so I'm not sure if buying Young Hands watches off of Amazon just inherently this happens or if I just got unlucky, but I've noticed, you know, kind of quality control issues with both of the Young Hands watches I've gotten off of Amazon. Um, this watch, however, is the Young Hands Form C Chronoscope Quartz Watch. Uh, so I know it's kind of a mouthful, the watch names always are. As you can see, it's a really nice looking watch. Uh, I've really enjoyed just kind of looking at it and, and, and being around a, a, you know, a premium watch. As I said, this is my first really nice watch. And essentially, Young Hands makes two chronoscopes, or it makes two chronos in this style. They make this Form C chronoscope and then they make a, ba uh, a Max Bill chronoscope. Uh, and the difference in price is significant. The max bill is an automatic and it's anywhere from 800 to 1200 plus dollars. This one is 350 to 500 dollars. And the reason being it's quartz, quartz, it's not automatic. So, you know, 500 dollars or 400 dollars or even 350 dollars is really getting to the to the top of what you would expect to pay uh, for a for a quartz movement. Um, but it is it is very good looking. I I, I do really enjoy the style of it. Uh, and just another thing to note before I forget on it is that it's, it's actually concave. Um, so the, it, it's not a massive noticeable, uh, change, but you know, if you were to measure the distance from the glass to the center of the dial, it's larger than the glass to the edge of the dial. So you've got that, that concave shape down, uh, it gets lower as it gets towards the middle and each of the sub dials are also concave. So I'm not sure how easy that's going to be to pick up. Uh, on camera, but if you see it in person, it, it is noticeable. And the subdials are actually more noticeable than the dial itself, but it, it is there and it is very cool. And you know, you don't you don't see a lot of watches like that. Uh, so again, the price between price difference between this and the Max Bill version is hundreds of dollars difference, and it's just because this is quartz and the other one is automatic, and that does justify that price. You would see that across all brands. That's not a, a young hands thing. So now talking about the size, so actually the reason that I returned the Max Bill that I got was because it was 38 millimeters, which was just a little bit too small for my wrist. I have seven and a half inch wrists, which is just above average. The average is about seven and a quarter. So it's not like I have massive wrists, but I have, you know, slightly above average wrist size. And for me, it was just, you know, it, it looked, it looked too small on my wrist. So that was why I returned it. I wish I had reviewed it before I did. Uh, this is 40 millimeters, which really works well on my wrist. Uh, so... The one dimension that I don't quite understand, though, is that it is, and let me just make sure that I get this right for what their listing is, and we'll measure it in a minute, 10 and a half millimeters thick. Now, if you look at this, again, I'm going to try to keep it as focused as I can. If you see that extra, that extra line at the bottom, that's the same as the chronoscope, the Max Bill chronoscope, which is an automatic. And my understanding is that was where the automatic uh, function was housed. A quartz function is battery powered and should be much smaller. I don't see why they needed that extra bulk, that extra chunk, 
Uh, and I actually think this would be a more attractive watch if it was a little bit thinner. And I, I, I guess I don't quite understand why they have it uh, as thick as it is. The chronoscope, the, uh, excuse me, the Max Bill chronoscope is 15 or 14 uh, millimeters thick, which is thicker, but that thickness comes because the glass is domed. So there's extra thickness, not nearly that much, I just have fat fingers. Uh, but there's extra thickness related to that. The, the case, I believe, is actually the same, the same thickness for the Form C chronoscope as the Max Bill chronoscope, even though the Max Bill is housing an, an automatic movement where this is housing a quartz movement. So I'm not sure if that's just because they want it to appear as though, uh, you know, you, you have an automatic on your wrist or, uh, or if there's some other explanation. I'm obviously not a watchmaker. Uh, so it's, you know, very possible that there's some explanation I don't know of, but I will, I'll say right off the bat, that's my main issue with this watch. And while I, why I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep it or not is the, is the chunkiness of it. It's a little bit too much for me from this angle. It, you know, you can't tell that it's a chunky watch. The problem is when it sits on your wrist, you know, they, they do the thing where they kind of, uh, angle it in to make it appear thinner. That I, I'm not a fan of it, You know, you'll see more of my watch reviews. That's the first thing I notice when I get a watch is whether they've done that or not. I don't like that. I don't actually think it makes it look any thinner. Uh, and so, you know, when it's hanging on your wrist, if people are looking at it like this, or if you're looking at it straight on, you can't really tell it's chunky, except that it's raised off of your wrist quite a bit. But then when you see from the side, it's just, you know, for me, it's, it's a little bit too much uh, for what's really, it's a, you know, it's a dress watch or a, or a casual watch. Uh, and I just, you know, I, I don't want it to be quite that thick. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my wrist so you can kind of get a sense of what I'm talking about here. Uh, so let me take it off of the pillow. And uh, so outside of that quality control issue with the, uh, with the box here, uh, the, the rest of the, of the packaging is quite nice, very nice pillow. And then what they've done is they've stored the paperwork in the back here, which is great because if you are, you know, going to keep this, uh, you know, all the other watches I have, there's no elegant place to keep the paperwork. And again, forgive me for the autofocus. There's no elegant place to keep the paperwork. This one, you know, you can keep it all there. And then if you need to resell it, you can, you know, it won't be a pain to find the papers. Uh, so the rest of it, I really quite like. It's a little bit big. It probably doesn't need to be this, this size, the case, but that's fine with me. The packaging is really quite nice other than this quality control issue, which I, again, I, I have a suspicion I am not the first person to buy this watch. Uh, so let me take off my, uh, my, my, my Timex Easy Read here. I'm making my camera work awfully hard today uh, to put on the Form C Chronoscope. So uh, when I put this on for my wrist, which again, seven and a half inch wrist, just above average size. So with this watch on my wrist, you'll see it's really quite a nice size as a dress watch or as a casual watch. Uh, you know, where the 38 millimeter max bill was a little bit too small this one is really quite nice now here's the problem though when you turn it to this angle boy that's that's kind of hanging off my wrist quite a bit uh, and that doesn't even have the the domed glass that's all just chunks so you know even you know even when you kind of bend your wrist to hide it that's still a very thick watch and so that's that's what concerns me is you know when i'm when i'm looking at it like this i don't even notice how thick it is uh you know, but, but, you know, when you, when you're, you know, when your arms at your side and you're just hanging there looking at it, just boy, that is a thick watch. And so I, I'm, I'm not sure whether that's going to grow on me or if that's going to be a concern where I end up returning it or not. Uh, but the, the dial itself is very nice. The strap is very nice. Um, you know, it, it, it's really a good looking watch. It's just that chunk factor is a problem for me. Okay. So then here's the other reason I don't think and I'm the first owner of this watch. So I've been letting the chrono go for a little bit here because I want to show you the uh, the really nice reset, the big sweeping reset. Let me make sure that I'm focused here so that way I don't miss this. Um, but so we'll have the reset coming here. So that stops it and then resets it. And you can watch, we've got the nice big reset. Uh, but you'll have to pay attention to where the second hand, so the the, 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 bottom, the bottom dial is actually counting seconds for the main watch. The second hand is what keeps track of your, is your, is your chrono for the, uh, for the one second timer, for the, for the one minute timer, excuse me. And it is set to 
four seconds. <laughs> it's not set on 60. So it is, and it is, it's, it's not even that difficult to reset. You just pull it out uh, all the way and then you do a double push for two seconds. And you know, there's a couple steps you go through to reset it and I can, and I will. Um, but that's another thing that makes me think I didn't get this straight from the factory. I think I probably am not the first person to buy this. Uh, so again, you know, if you, if you go to use the, the, uh, the, the chrono feature, you push it and it starts. You can see the timer starting there. And then you can push it to stop it and then reset it. When we go back, we've got that nice sweep. So, you know, kind of a, a beautiful chrono for a quartz. Again, you know, but you know, this several hundred dollars is a lot of money for a quartz movement. Uh, but I, I do really like it as far as a quartz movement goes, if it just wasn't so chunky. And even if they could just take off that last layer there, I think it would be fine. But for me, I, I have a suspicion I'm this is not gonna grow on me and, and I'm gonna be looking for a a, uh, a thinner watch. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my review of the Young Hands Form C Chronoscope. Uh, stay tuned for more watch reviews.